named Bagnal Dao, Civil Engineers of the Future. Welcome to your online class in Hydraulics. I am your instructor, Daryl J. Ambalpin. In this video, I will solve sample problems in total hydrostatic force on plane surfaces. A rectangular gate 1.5 meters wide and 3 meters high is vertically submerged in water with its top edge horizontal and 0.6 meter above the water surface. A. Evaluate the total force acting on one side of the gate and B. Obtain the location of the force from the center of gravity of the gate. So we have the water surface and the gate with its top edge horizontal and 0.6 meter above the water surface. So if the height of the gate is 3 meters, the height submerged in water is equal to 3 minus 0.6. That is 2.4 meters. Let's try to project the cross section of the gate, which is a rectangle with a width of 1.5 meters and a height of 3 meters. We will consider only the cross section submerged in water and identify its center of gravity, CG. The CG will be located 1.2 meters from the liquid surface and 1.2 meters from the bottom of the gate. We simply divide 2.4 by 2. And that is equal to 1.2. And then, the distance, vertical distance, from the liquid surface to the CG is called h-bar. And also, the distance from the liquid surface to the CG measured along the gate is called y-bar. Therefore, each bar is equal to y-bar because the gate is vertical. Now, you might ask what is the difference between h-bar and y-bar. So, if you noticed, I already defined the two. For h-bar, that is always vertical. It is always the vertical distance from the liquid surface to the CG. Whereas Y bar may not necessarily be vertical. Y bar will always be measured along the gate from the liquid surface to the CG and it is measured along the gate. It just so happened that our gate is vertical, therefore h bar is equal to y bar. And what will be the value of the two? This is simply equal to 1.2 meters. Next is the center of pressure, or CP, located at a distance E from CG. E here is the eccentricity. CP, the location of CP, will be where our total force, hydrostatic force, acts. So the total hydrostatic force acts along the location of our CP. So H bar is equal to 1.2 meters, and that is also Y bar. For letter A, we are to solve F, total hydrostatic force, and that is equal to gamma H bar area, where gamma is the unit weight of the liquid. H bar, as I've said, is the vertical distance from the liquid surface to the CG. 
and A is the area of the cross section submerged in the liquid. So substituting our values, gamma is 9.81 for water, our H bar is 1.2, our A is the area of the rectangle submerged in water, and that is base times height, base is 1.5, and height is 2.4. So, you must check your consistency of units. So, 9.81 is in kilonewton per cubic meters. This is in meters. And this is in square meters. So that our resulting unit will be in terms of kilonewtons. And solving for F, that is equal to 42.38 kilonewtons. For letter B, we are to solve the eccentricity E, which is the distance of the CP below CG. Measured along the body or gate. So it is equal to IG over AY bar, where IG is the moment of inertia of the cross-sectional area about CG. A is the cross-sectional area, and Y bar, as I've said, is the distance from the liquid surface to the CG measured along the body or gate. Substituting our values for our IG, our moment of inertia, for rectangle that is given by the formula BH cube over 12. So substituting, our base is 1.5, our height is 2.4, and the area is 1.5 times 2.4. And our Y bar is also 1.2. So calculating for eccentricity E, that is equal to 0 0.4 meters. So let's just try to counter check our consistency of units. In IG or moment of inertia, this is in terms of m to the fourth. And in our denominator, we have the area is in terms of m squared and y bar is m. So m squared times m is m cubed. So we have m to the fourth divided by m cubed. So the resulting unit is in meters. A triangular gate with a horizontal base 1.2 meters long and an altitude of 1.8 meters is inclined 45 degrees from the vertical, with the vertex pointing upward. The hinge horizontal base of the gate is 2.7 meters below the water surface. A. Calculate the total force of the water on the gate. B. How far is the said force from the vertex measured along the gate? And C what normal force must be applied at the vertex of the gate to open it. We have the water surface. We have the gate, which is inclined 45 degrees from the vertical, with its base located 2.7 meters below the water surface. The base of the gate is hinged. Let's project the cross-section of the gate, which is a triangle with the vertex pointing upward. The base of the triangle is 1.2 meters and the altitude is 1.8 meters. If we locate the CG of the triangle from the vertex, that's just equal to two-thirds of the altitude, or two-thirds of 1.8 is equal to 1.2 meters. 
So the CG is 1.2 meters from the vertex of the triangle. We also have the center of pressure CP, which is located at a distance E below CG. And along CP is where the total hydrostatic force acts on the gate. Next, we calculate our h-bar. So this is h-bar, the vertical distance from the liquid surface to the CG of the gate. But before that, let's try to solve for this vertical distance. The vertical distance from the vertex of the gate to the base by considering this right triangle. We know this is 1.8 meters and this is 45 degrees. To solve for this vertical distance, we simply have 1.8 cosine 45 and that is equal to 1.27 meters. If this distance is 1.27 meters and this distance is 2.7 meters, to get this distance, we simply subtract the 2. So this distance is equal to 2.7 minus 1.27. And this is equal to 1.43 meters. Next, we solve for this vertical distance, which is the vertical distance from the, verte the vertex of the gate to the CG of the gate by considering again another right triangle. We know that this is 1.2 meters and the angle is still 45 degrees. Therefore, to solve for this vertical distance, we simply have 1.2 meters cosine 45 degrees, and that is equal to 0 0.849 meters. Therefore, we go back to our h-bar, which is now equal to 0 0.849 plus 1.43 meters. And that is equal to 2.279 meters. In this problem, you will see clearly the difference between h-bar and y-bar because our gate is no longer vertical, but rather it is inclined. So, Let's calculate our y-bar. Our y-bar is the distance from the liquid surface to the CG of the gate measured along the gate. So if the gate is inclined, we also measure y-bar inclined. So to calculate for y-bar, we simply add this distance and this distance. We know this distance to be 1.2 meters. And this distance can be calculated by considering this small triangle. We know this vertical distance to be 1.43 meters and the angle here to be 45 degrees. So to solve for this inclined distance, we simply have 1.43 divided by cosine 45 and that is equal to 2.02 .02 meters therefore our y bar is 1.2 meters plus 2.02 .02 meters and that is equal to 3.22 meters from the figure h bar is equal to 2.279 meters and y bar is equal to 3.22 meters for letter A, we are to solve for the total hydrostatic force, F, which is equal to gamma h-bar area. So substituting our values, gamma of water is 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meters. h-bar is 2.279 meters. And the area of the triangle is 1 half base times height. Our base is 1.2 meters our height is 1.8 meters. Therefore, F is equal to 24.15 kilonewtons. 
for letter B, we are to solve for the distance from the vertex to the force. So let's call that distance x. The distance from the vertex of the gate to the location of hydrostatic force F. Now to solve for that distance x, we simply add E and 1.2 meters. So x is equal to 1.2 plus E. So we need to solve for eccentricity E, which is given by the formula Ig is over a y bar. So substituting for a triangle, the moment of inertia of a triangle about its CG is equal to BH cube over 36. So substituting the base of the triangle is 1.2 meters, the height is 1.8 meters, and the area is 1 half times 1.2 meters times 1.8 meters, and our y bar is 3.22 meters. Therefore, E is equal to 0 0.056 meters. And for our x, it is equal to 1.2 plus E, which is 0 0.056. Therefore, x is equal to 1.256 meters. For letter C, we are asked to solve for the normal force that must be applied at the vertex of the gate to open it. So we have the gate hinged at the base A. We also have the total hydrostatic force F equal to 24.15 kilonewtons. So we have the normal force at the vertex of the gate N. The length of the gate is 1.8 meters, and the location of the force from the vertex along the gate is 1.256 meters. Therefore, this distance is simply 1.8 minus 1.256, and that is equal to 0 0.544 meters. To solve for n, we simply take summation moment at A, which is equal to 0. So summation moment at A is equal to 0. Having the notation clockwise moment positive and counterclockwise moment negative, so let's first have the total hydrostatic force F. So we have 24.15, its moment arm is 0 0.544, and it tends to rotate clockwise, so that's positive. And for the unknown normal force N, its moment arm is 1.8 meters with respect to A, and it tends to rotate counterclockwise. So we have negative N times 1.8, and we equate everything to zero. Solving for n, we have n is equal to 7.30 kilonewtons.